Welcome friends to another video, welcome to another episode of Gavo Scented Recommendation. This time around, episode 19, and because the weather outside is pretty nasty, we just had one single real spring day, and the day afterwards started raining and uh, temperatures decreased, I decided to wear this fragrance and also to recommend it to you, because it fits perfectly in this weather scenario. And the fragrance comes from the house of Parfum de Marly, and it's called Shagia. This is quite an interesting fragrance, if you ask me, if you don't know it already. I simply love it because it's a woody fragrance, first and foremost, but at the same time, it manages to smell vintage. It has a vintage interpretation, but not in a bad way, actually in a very good way. It smells like a real gentleman, like a real man, because also this fragrance is marketed specially to men. It's not a unisex fragrance, so... I wouldn't see a lady or a woman wearing this one. Let's talk about the composition. The fragrance appeared on the market in 2009. It has lime, bergamot and pink pepper, also wood, cedar and geranium. And in the base we have vetiver, guayacud, papyrus and musk. So quite an interesting composition. Apparently, at uh, first glance, this is quite a simplistic, quite linear fragrance, but in reality it's quite complex. It features many facets if you want, you just need to pay attention to what's happening in the background when wearing this fragrance. This is one of those rare occasions when I actually can sniff almost every single note in the composition, which is a rare thing for me. So I do get pretty much all the ingredients from this composition. I get the citruses, I get the beautiful woody accords, I also get the beautiful spicy accords, but I also get that uh, beautiful papyrus note that I actually enjoy in fragrances. And for those of you who know Lalique, Hommage à Long Voyageur, the papyrus inside Shagia resembles quite a lot with the interpretation in the um, Lalique offering. So if you are familiar with that one, you pretty much know what to expect with Shagia when it comes to the papyrus. Other than that, you get agarwood from start till end, but it's not dominant, it's not the main accord. I would say the main accord is made out of uh, cedar, vetiver and also papyrus, accompanied by the citruses and also by the spices, especially um, the pink pepper and also that very uh, powerful green geranium note found inside. I do enjoy wearing this one. It does smell vintage, as I said, but not in a bad way. Consider this. Um, in order for you to realize how Shagia smells, I would uh, urge you to make a small exercise in your mind and imagine that you are in a very old furniture store. This is how it pretty much smells. It has that uh, antique feeling, if you want, and I simply love this type of scents. Classic but uh, at the same time wearable nowadays, a real men's fragrance for what it is, very beautiful composition with very interesting ingredients, and especially if you love woody fragrances, then you're going to definitely love Shagia from Parfum de Marly. A fragrance that's uh, quite good when it comes to performance, I get really good longevity on my skin, also projection-wise and sillage, but uh, as I said, on my skin, you need to try it out on your skin to see how it performs, Quite versatile, you can wear this one dressed up casually, but mostly semi-formal and formally. And when it comes to seasons, although I'm not a big fan and I don't really recommend fragrances based on seasons, I do see this one being really well worn in spring and fall. But you can also wear it throughout the year, mainly in winter time and sometimes, depending on the weather conditions, at uh, late summer nights. But mostly in spring and fall. This one, in my opinion, works miracles. Very interesting fragrance from the house of uh, Parfum de Marly. I'm not the biggest fan of this house, but uh, they do have some creations that I really appreciate. I own three of them. Uh, this one, uh, Galloway and Nissan, and I also like a lot uh, or enjoy a lot Pegasus, Wajan and uh, also Herod. These are actually all my favorite uh, fragrances from this house. I highly encourage you to give it a try, to sample it, to wear it a couple of times on your skin, to see how it performs, to see how it reacts to your skin's chemistry, 
and only afterwards go ahead and purchase a full bottle such as this one because as you already know Parfum de Marie is not a very cheap house and uh, actually not quite an affordable um, niche house therefore don't pay uh, don't blind buy actually and afterwards uh, you may end up regretting your purchase i'm gonna stop here as always my friends be safe be good and remember smell good feel good peace